Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next video, we are going to explore parity bits. And we're given the following problem here. Consider that the following byte uh, shown here, 1101010110p, um, is given where p is the parity bit. And we are looking for the value of p. So b is a bit, takes the value either 0 or 1. And we want to find the value of p for odd parity, and we want to find the value of p for even parity. So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So the use of parity bits at the beginning of a binary string or at the end of a binary string um, is used for error detections. And the basic principle is this. We are looking, we are counting how many one bit values we have in the string and if it's odd parity we want to be able to have an odd number of ones in the entire uh, binary string including the parity bit and if we have even parity then we want the total number of ones including the parity bit to be uh, even so Writing down the value here, 1101010p, we first count the number of ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and for odd parity, we want the number of ones, including the parity bit, to be odd. So in this case, if we set p is equal to 0, then the number of 1s remains 5. And 5 is an odd number, so uh, this would be the value that p should take. Um, if we had odd parity and we set p is equal to 1, we would have 6 1s, and then we would know that that is an error. For even, Parity, we have just the opposite. We could set p is equal to 1, and then we would have, again, 6 1 bits, and 6 is legitimate because 6 is an even number. Okay, so for the odd parity, the entire, entire uh, bit string would be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, and for even parity, It'd be 1101011101. And that'll satisfy odd parity for the for p equals zero for the top and even parity on the bottom. So did you guys get that? Leave me a comment below. And until then, enjoy engineering.